what's up guys today I really want to talk to you guys about a brand really not just a brand but a family of brands that I think are getting some attention but not to me it seems the attention that they deserve uh, because of really just the stuff that they're creating it's a really great uh, family of brands that you know I'm actually very excited to share with you guys I've been wanting to do this video for a while I just kind of wanted to, you know, build up my collection a little bit larger. And that way, whenever I come to you guys, you know, I had a, a little bit more stuff to show you guys. But <clears throat> mostly, you know, I want to talk to you guys about a brand called Tsukami. And you can see that I have here in most everything, well, pretty much everything on here is Tsukami. And, uh, you know, I have some of the other family members uh, in, this, in these brands over here, like Half Evil and Absent. Um, these three brands make up the family of brands that I'm speaking of and um, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm just really excited to show you guys some of the stuff that they're doing. Let's get it started. Sukami being the main brand that I'm wanting to talk about, to talk about today. Um, as you can see, that's what I have here on the table. Uh, he is taking these characters that he's creating and he's making patches out of them. But on the Robo Kitty here, you can see that the black piece was the first solid piece of this and then he would cut out other pieces of fabric into the shapes that he needed and then sew them onto that black piece until he had the whole character. And each, each piece here is a different piece of fabric. So you can see this here is a one piece, two piece, three piece. You got these pieces, this piece here, you got the shirt, the S on it, and then you got the feet here and the, all that kind of stuff there. And you know, this is just one of the things. And then on the back here, you can see he uh, includes it with washing instructions. Uh, it tells you to turn it inside out, cold water, no dryer, hang dry, iron the badge, and uh, hang it up, you know, basically, do not fold. I honestly see a lot of potential in this brand to be, uh, you know, the next huge thing. I definitely think that, you know, this is the next bape or the next supreme, you know. I think this is honestly gonna be bigger than those brands. He has about 10,000 uh, followers, a little over 10,000 followers on Twitter and a little over 20,000 followers on uh, Instagram. You know, so he is definitely at a point where people know about him, but you know, obviously at only 20,000 followers, um, you know, not enough, I don't feel like, you know, to make this as big as those other brands for sure. But, you know, just to kind of go over some of his other designs, I'm gonna just kind of show you some of the, the hoodies and the t-shirts that I've gotten in my collection. Obviously, there's a lot more out there, uh, you know, that I don't have my hands on. And, you know, you can get on Grailed and uh, eBay and different uh, sites like Depop and all that kind of stuff. And you can find people selling this stuff. But I'm just kind of gonna go through what I have in my collection. As you can see, this here is the Juggernaut. He's got this patch here. Um, one of my favorites, actually. Also, his rendition on uh, a Brick Bear with the color style of Pooh Bear. This one actually has the Chomper mouse piece here. This is actually a hoodie as well. Uh, and you can see each one of these, they have this kind of, well, especially the first edition ones have these special uh, papers with the actual character on them. As he's gotten to the, the later style hoodies, you'll see that some of them actually just have a little tiny slip of paper that tells you not to wash it. Okay, the hoodies don't have it just yet. Uh, it's actually on the shirts for now, because uh, we're actually in edition three. Like I said, the early editions, like edition one, um, had the, the washing instructions with the character on it. And these right here actually have the washing instructions. This is a leather badge, so you definitely are not supposed to wash or iron this. It just says, do not wash, treat this like an art piece. It's just a little slip of paper there. Um, even once you actually kind of get to the edition two hoodies, they're just kind of same longer piece of uh, washing instructions, but just more of a plain kind of style, just with the star boy on it, not the actual special uh, edition characters, which is actually, it's okay, but you know, I, I've, I actually <laughs> preferred the uh, other washing instructions with the character on it. It just seems like, you know, more special and makes the hoodie more of a package, but hey, nonetheless. So, I've got a lot of different hoodies here. Uh, this is here, uh, a rendition on Baby Milo, Baby Milo, um, from Bape. Here you can see it's also got the cause bones on it there. Uh, on the back, this is an earlier edition, so this is actually going to be on a jersey's hoodie. These later edition hoodies are really thick hoodies. They're, um, you know, really soft on the inside, 
really thick. The, the first edition hoodies are kind of more of the thinner hoodies that, you know, you could probably actually just buy a blank hoodie at Walmart, you know, jerseys type hoodie. But still, it's not really about the hoodie. It's about the patch that's on them. So this here, like I said, baby Milo hoodie on a jersey. This here is a round. This is one of the first hoodies that I actually got in my collection. Uh, it's on a thicker hoodie. One of, one of the cooler designs I thought that he has is the stitch here. You can see uh, it's got the x out eyes and uh, it's got four arms and this one actually has the washing instructions that um, have you know the actual stitch character on it really awesome just running through these this here is a uh, heart boy it's got the cause bones on it you can see um, he does a lot of different play on other people's characters sometimes uh, which I, I think is really cool. Moving on here, this is Tsukami Man. This is also another earlier one, but this is on a thicker hoodie actually. Uh, it's got the Tsukami Man paper with it. Pretty awesome. This is a, another one of my favorite designs. I like all the characters. His most prominent design is the Star Boy. So here we got a Star Boy with a chomper on it. This is kind of a more special one. You don't see the chomper all the time. Here is a demon. This is another earlier design you can tell because it's on a guillotin t-shirt here. Uh, this one is actually more of a special thing. You know, you don't see a lot of demons out there. I really love this, this design. Uh, the shirt is kind of more of a lightweight shirt compared to the, the later shirts that we got now. Like this right here is going to be more of a heavyweight t-shirt. And that's another thing that makes these special is that you can tell that there's a lot of quality and love put into these shirts even down to like the name tag on them you know i mean he is really just going all out with the uh production on this on on his brand you know he's he's really putting a lot of love into it and that's something i can flex with moving on we're gonna get go to a group of t-shirts real quick okay so boom we got a star boy here this is one of the later drops this is uh uh murakami uh, murakami flower uh, this is actually one of one, so you know nobody else is gonna have these t-shirts. And that's another thing about this is that this stuff is so exclusive. Is that you know there may whenever he does a drop, there may only be just a few t-shirts in each uh, design. So like this was actually from an in-store drop where he brought a lot of one of one designs. So nobody else is gonna have this t-shirt in no other size. You know it's just gonna be that t-shirt. Some shirts are one of four. That means you know like they're gonna be in one in each size uh like small medium and large there's only going to be one so you might have that shirt uh and that'd be the only one in that size this here is another one of one this is a one of four right here like what i'm saying this is going to be the only shirt in large and uh this is actually a leather badge here you're going to have uh the mushroom head this has the g on it uh if anybody follows crazy geo on twitter or twitch that's uh for crazy geo there they fucks with him and uh John, he's got the, uh, this is a sample tee, you know, it's another Winnie the Pooh Bear, this one does not have the chopper on it, this is going to be, you know, a one-on-one -on -one because this was never released, it, like I said, it's just a sample patch, um, one of my favorites right here, his, uh, rendition on, uh, Pachirusu, Pachirusu right there, okay, I'm going to get you guys some close-ups on some of these patches later, and you can just see the stitching on this, is just like elegant and like i said you, you're not going to be walking around seeing a hundred other people wearing this shirt you know like probably in your lifetime unless you just live close to somebody else who's like really into this you may not see anybody else you know uh rocking the same design ever here we got uh, another leather badge this is a star boy this is another leather badge one of my favorite leather badges actually when he first came out with them uh, so this is another star boy red and black we got another Star Boy. You might have seen this on Tissa Korean. I think he has this one. Um, this is the pink Star Boy. Actually, this was my first Star Boy. And moving on, this is one of the first designs that you can actually see in the catalog. Uh, this is the Love Lizard here. You got the lizard with the heart on, all stitched on. The uh, pack actually has the lizard on it. Let's, let's kind of move some of this other stuff over real quick. All right, <laughs> we have a ton of shit here. Okay, so here we got, uh, this is the titanium crocodile leather uh, st star boy. You can see this got the kind of like, it's like reflective, like almost like uh, tin foil, you know, and it's uh, made out of the crocodile skin. 
And this is actually a really cool patch. This was an in-store drop, so very exclusive. Not a lot of people have this one. Um, here, another in-store drop. This was, uh, and when I say in-store drop, all these dudes are, are living in Chicago right now. And they uh, pretty much all live in the same apartment complex and they just kind of fucks with each other and help each other design and make ideas and all this other shit you know so like they have half evil has this store that drop that opens every once in a while and whenever they do open they're all kind of you know selling some exclusive shit at that time you know and it's only going to be open for maybe a day so this right here uh comes from the in-store drop uh it's actually snake skin you can see, well, it, I'm going to show you guys a close-up later, but it's got the snake skin, and it's also got alligator skin underneath it with, you know, the blue is a, another style of snake skin. Um, <clears throat> here, I got some pants. I'm going to have to take these out. But the pants are something you really don't hardly ever see. You know, uh, I've only seen a, a couple, mostly just in pictures of Johnny wearing them. I've seen like one other person, uh, well maybe actually two other people have a, another pair of pants that I know are, are just out there, you know, but um, other than that, the pants are pretty exclusive. So here you got some camo pants. He's got the patch that he sewed on here with the little ram on it. You can see he's got the classic uh, triple S logo that uh, Tsukami is kind of getting known for now because, you know, it is a brand new age out here. Well. <clears throat> he's also sewed on some extra pockets one right here and one right here and then he replaced the bottom leg looks like he sewed this on uh, to it as well moving on Th these next uh, things that I'm gonna show you are from the uh, latest drop here you got the shiny tomato chomper it's a rendition of Kirby here uh, really cool patch not not many of these I think these are limited to one of eight really cool uh, on the chompers you can see He's actually painted the uh, chomper mouth on there. And then you can see on the back, it's got the washing instructions. And then the zombie bear. I'm gonna have to show you guys a close up on this. You may not be, can see the mouth from this far away, but uh, it's actually a zombie bear. The patch is done on here. He's drew the mouth on it. Very cool patch. I'm really loving the Edition 3 because they're having the new tags on them. This is a really cool uh, detail, you know, just to make it seem like it's it's more of an established brand and I don't see this you know dying down anytime soon like Johnny is like he's just a creative mastermind right here I also got from the latest drop the Titan hoodie this hoodie is also a one of one shout out Jules uh, he's the one who actually sold this to me and uh, he actually was selling it to me on a white uh, t-shirt and I got him to put it on a hoodie for me. I got him to get John to put it on a hoodie for me. So the hoodie is a one-on-one -on -one Titan hoodie. You're not going to see another one of these. Now, moving on to the other brands in the family here. I have some clothes from them. Just kind of going through what I got. Here is uh, some stuff from Half Evil. I'm going to run through them first and then I'll kind of go through some of Absent stuff. But this here is actually uh, an embroidered shirt. He actually is home of the $3.33 tees. And this is one of them. Most of, all the time when he sells these three, three, three tees, is it's just going to be like a tiny logo right here. And uh, you know that I fucks with that. You know he's putting on for the kids who maybe can't afford uh, to be buying these expensive tees, but <clears throat> you know uh, he wants to show love to everybody. He just dropped for the, uh, Friday the thirteenth. This is um, a shirt here, Half Evil. We stop giving a fuck. I, I'm actually wearing some Half Evil right now. This is the Protect the Children shirt. You know, got half people down here. Sick ass uh, graphic. The day that Notre Dame burnt down, he came out with this shirt. Okay, this is Notre Dame up in flames, and it says, "Some people just want to watch the world burn." I mean, you really can't get any more awesome. And actually, half people, he's he's like known for these uh, kind of light gray T-shirts. I really fucks with that. Um, he's got he's got a lot more stuff coming out. Uh, these these guys are really really blowing up right now here's another three 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 t that you can see got the tiny logo there you got to be quick to get these t's man I'm, I'm gonna tell you like i said this stuff is exclusive when this stuff comes out if you're not click 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 right then and there i mean you're gonna miss out you're not gonna get this stuff again and that's that's a part of the appeal you know also how exclusive it is to have this stuff you're not gonna just be walking around like i said 
seeing 200 people wearing this other shirt, you know? If you uh, decide, like, you're going to go to a music festival, you want to wear this shirt, you know, odds are you may not see anybody else uh, wearing this exact same design. They're probably going to be wearing something from this brand, but not this design. Here's from Absent. This was the all-over print. This is uh, Ted Bundy here. He's got the axe on the back there. Pretty fucking awesome. Uh, this is one of my favorites from them. Absent has this cut and sew uh, striped tee. You might have seen Billie Eilish rocking this on her European tour. Pretty fucking sick. And here we got the devil. This is uh, an absentee. The devil works hard, but blank works harder. It actually came with a Sharpie pen. Uh, I'm, I'll probably go get it in here in just a second, but it says absent on it, and uh, which is pretty fucking awesome as well. He just dropped a bunch of shit. Absent, he's known for these uh, rhinestone hoodies. I'll probably show you guys some pictures on here. Um, but these fucking rhinestone hoodies are, are the shit. I, uh, on this last drive, I tried to get some. I fucking was fucking around, clicking too many uh, items, trying to add them to my cart. And by the time I went to check out, boom, all the shit that I really wanted was sold out, except for the jewelry in my size, you know? So, like I said, do not sleep on this stuff if you're interested. I mean, you are not, you are not going to just have the opportunity to be getting this whenever you want or having the leisure of, you know, browsing the site. <laughs> you just need to get in there and get out. And then here is a Half Evil uh, and Tsukami collab t-shirt. W one thing that I, I think is really awesome to see is, what is the word I'm looking for? The fucking, how these guys have, you know, came along. I mean, <laughs> damn, the, the process. I don't know exactly, I, I, I'm at a loss for words right now, but like, absent from a, from a distance, you know, he had a um, airbrush tee, you know? And then he had the uh, rhinestone hoodies and, you know, now he's on to these drops that he's got, like, all these different items and, you know, chains and bracelets, blankets, and it, it's just really awesome to see that these guys who are, you know, not these huge corporations uh, actually making money just to support themselves in their own dreams, you know what I'm saying? And, and you're actually supporting that. And you can feel the love in the, in the stuff, you know, and... Um, it, it really is an awesome feeling to be able to support these guys. But I'm going to go get some of this other stuff real quick. So we got the pin. All right. I'm going to get over here so that y'all can see it. But... As you can see, boom, he's got this Sharpie marker here with the word absent on it. Pretty awesome. And they also got this rug. It's absent is actually made up by this dude, Parker, uh, and this other dude at Unathletic. You can find all these dudes on Twitters. Uh, <laughs> on Twitters. I'll, I'll leave the links to them uh, here in the bottom. And uh, they also have a really active Discord. I'll leave links to all this stuff in the bottom for you guys. Now, <clears throat> here you can see they have a placemat, absent. Uh, it says, for all the times that you never showed up. I think this was pretty sick. I fucking copped. Uh, also, they have uh, a teddy bear. That was one of the things that they dropped not too long ago. You can see here. Let me make sure that you can see here. The uh, teddy bear has the rhinestone uh, fucking t-shirt. Now, obviously, you know, not as detailed as the real life version, but pretty fucking sick, I thought. Pretty cool idea. Here we got Sukami's plushies that he's just dropped. I copped both. You got the red one. This is the classic hard boy, and then you got uh, this new uh, pink hard boy that he's putting out. And some months ago, later uh, last winter, we he had dropped uh, pillows and blankets. I cop I cop these. Actually, I also copped a red blanket, but uh, I'm in the process of getting that made into a pair of shorts. One of my most prized possessions here is also this plushie. To me, this is the most special plushie. It's a pillow, but it's I think it, I call it the plushie because it is a plushie, you know. But uh, basically, this one here. He has sewed all this stuff on. It, uh, these, you know, are manufactured plushies, but this right here was handmade, you know, and uh, sewed and everything. So this is like one of the coolest things to me that I have. And now 
he just dropped in this new drop two new skateboards and i know he's got a couple other decks you know this guy's he, these guys are really active on uh social media so you know that's where their followings are is on twitter and instagram so you get on twitter and uh instagram in their stories you know they'll be uh dropping different stuff you know that they maybe will never drop or maybe that they're going to be dropping here in the future or in-store drops secret drops all kinds of different stuff you know you just got to be active in this stuff if you're interested in it here's the other uh, skateboard that just came out the blue one this one here has got the cloud on it with the sakami star boy here you get the tomato chomper with the wizard wand this one here we got looks like some rabbits uh heart and the demon there pretty fucking sick you got the demon down there as well Demon academy bow 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 and then boom here we got Half Evil's deck, okay? He actually just dropped another deck too, uh, the Bat deck. I didn't end up getting that one. But this one right here was pretty fucking exclusive, I know. Uh, so, got this one. This was the first deck that they dropped. And <clears throat> I think that is about it with, you know, my collection, actually. Uh, I probably have some, other, some more stuff that I just can't remember where I put it or didn't think about it. So, you know, oh... <laughs> Right here, Wait, here's one. They just dropped these hats too, Sukami did. So you can see this one's got the, the heart on it the, with the bones. So. All right, so after going through and kind of editing most of this video, uh, I know it's gotten, it kind of gotten long-winded, but I did want to share some afterthoughts. Uh, and I know I kind of touched on this a little bit, but these drops, seriously, you know, if you're interested in them, once, you know, they'll share on Twitter or Instagram when it's going to drop. And really, once it drops, I mean, in the first minute or so, you know, like almost everything is gone in the, you know, most uh, wanted sizes like large and medium. Um, you know, small and, and extra large, you might can get a, away with waiting a few minutes. But honestly, I mean, there, you can't wait any longer than 10 minutes if you're interested in getting some of this stuff. Also, just to clarify, uh, John is the owner of Tsukami, Johnny Hollins. Uh, and then you got Sam, he is the owner of Half Evil. And then, like I said earlier, you got Parker and Unathletic who run um, Absent. And <clears throat> it, you can find a lot of uh, more information about these guys on uh, Twitter and, and Instagram. And uh, kind of more of the stuff that they're putting out. And like I said, you know, there, there's a lot of great stuff. Really, other than that, I don't have much to say. I do appreciate you guys if you made it all the way through this video. Uh, really go out there and, and follow Johnny and, and Tsukami and, and uh, Half Evil and Absent and, uh, you know, help push them further. Uh, appreciate you guys for fucking with my channel.